We made it to the uh, airport, thank God. Um, that, bus. that bus was longer than our flight's going to be. <laughs> um, I'm recording on my phone, brought this camera, and we luckily haven't got it out because we're all too embarrassed to be all vlogging. So the flight's delayed to 7, so that's just under two hours. Do yeah. it. Yeah. So Jason spotted a Burger King. That's where I'm heading. And I already have the Guinness water. Catherine's funny shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I need another one. Oh, so we'll try and remember to film as much as we can and keep these updated. Bye. Bye. We're on the plane. We're on the plane and I almost had to ask for a seatbelt extender because I'm fat. So, way to make a fair, a person feel great about themselves, Ryanair. Okay. <laughs> Nearly there. Nearly there. I, I know, but like, I never even thought we were going to make it this far. So. What? These are probably going to be, oh no, you can't actually, we went to the car so you can't drink at all. Yeah, we had a lot of obstacles to get here, uh, but they were actually here, so. Finally made it to the apartment after what can only be described as the journey from actual hell. I know, 12 uh, hours. 12 hours. Uh, also standing on the side of some street in the middle of Madrid because the rental care place wasn't open. Um, Lost that money. Yeah. <laughs> but we're here and we're super excited. Nowhere's yeah. open at the minute, but in the morning we're going to go and get Tom Hortons. Yeah, we drove past the Tom Hortons on the way here in the Uber and Kim was the most excited, excited I've ever seen her <laughs> all day. It's good time. <laughs> oh, so we're going to get an early night and get up mad on tomorrow. Maybe we'll take some pictures and add them on here from our Tim Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> from our Tim Hortons. <laughs> For all the foodies. Yeah. Bye. Okay, quick update. We are in the hospital. It's the day before surgery and we're doing all the admissions things today so bloods have had x-rays it has been extremely difficult with the language barrier <laughs> and plus me and kim are like so awkward i know anyway so we're all okay and just like <laughs> i look so shiny so shiny um so yeah this just... is the last thing we're waiting on the day now which is jason's bloods yeah and then we're going to go do some touristy things yeah, because from tomorrow, obviously, the surgery, you won't be able to do anything. Yeah, or they'll be able to do very little. Uh, you won't be able to leave the um, apartment. Oh, two seconds. I keep hearing that beep, um, but I don't know if it's us. So, uh, that's the update, and we'll see you out and about in Madrid. Yeah. We're walking. <laughs> Oh, please. Like a, like a bush maze. Like a what? <laughs> bush maze, that's what it looks like. Although it's not really a maze because you wouldn't get lost unless you were about one foot <laughs> and couldn't see over the bush. <laughs> <laughs> so standard, uh, Irish people can't go abroad and not find an Irish pub. <laughs>
Hey guys, so we're doing a little update here before Jason's gonna be in pain. This is the room, that's where I'll be sleeping. I'm assuming that's the chair that they're gonna like, let him sit in afterwards. How you feeling? I'm really nervous, I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite terrified. <laughs> I've never had surgery before, so. You'll be okay. Um, um, we get out tomorrow. And we get out tomorrow, so that's good. So you just go chill at home. Yeah. PlayStation. Yeah, he brought his PlayStation. We're going to buy him a new game. <laughs> Online, so that'll keep him busy. Okay, bye. Hey everybody, so Jason has been in surgery now for over three hours. Um, his wee bed's gone, though. It's all empty. So... If the surgery is four hours, uh, the doctor said that he'll update me um, at around the four hour mark and then Jason might be in recovery for two hours. I just got back. I went to the apartment that we're staying in to Catherine and the plan is whenever he comes back he's probably going to be groggy and stuff. So I'm going to stay here until he is, until he sees me obviously and then he's probably going to sleep. So whenever he goes to sleep I'm going to meet. Catherine and we're going to go around the town for a couple hours because she's by herself as well while Jason's sleeping and then I'm going to stay here the night with him. He's only in for one night and then we're back tomorrow. So I'll update you whenever he's here. He told me before going down he wants me to record his reactions whenever he's just out of surgery in case it's funny because he's going to be obviously high as a so we'll see you then. Bye. Hey guys, so um, it's a couple hours later. Jason was uh, in and out of sleep all day, but he wants to vlog now. So here's the patient. Hello. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm, I'm tired, but I'm feeling I'm feeling really great. Um, so this is the bandage. Baps are off. <laughs> Happy about that. Um, just uncomfortable. Just uncomfortable. Not really in a lot of pain, but it's it's just un uncomfortable, you know. So, um, yeah. what else will I say? <laughs> you still groggy? I'm still a bit groggy. I'm still really thirsty. I had to fast from what time last night? 11, so it's nearly, it's like 20 hours. Or something. Um, and uh, I've had a bit of water. Um, but and I, you're getting out tomorrow? I'm getting out tomorrow, so. As always, we'll keep you all updated about what's happening. And I just want to say as well, the support from everybody today has been absolutely out of this world, like unreal. Um, so overwhelming, like. Yeah, on the socials, I was telling Jason that my phone didn't stop, his phone didn't stop. Like, thank you all so much, and it's very much appreciated. Yeah, uh, we'll hopefully be seeing you soon. Bye. Bye. Hey. This is his dinner. He's not going to eat it because it's fish and he doesn't like it, but he's going to eat the chicken noodles where we crispy roll. And this is him. <laughs> All G. All G. <laughs>
okay uh just about survived the band is just coming off kim just about survived i nearly fainted i had to take my hat off and tie my hair up off so i'm a bit i'm a bit sore again now um but they said everything uh looked really well she was saying oh it looks really really good they took um, pictures because your nipple graphs and all like yeah the, the nipple grafts awesome. were so good that they took pictures for them well, for actually uh, i took pictures at the end so that you can see uh don't don't freak out about the maybe we'll like put a warning on put a graphic warning on because i am pretty bruised from like the liposuction and stuff yeah so this um, is your warning this is your warning <laughs>